Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jo uh, and this is my best friend, JC. Hi guys. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, we're gonna tell you all about JC finding out I'm pregnant or like kind of our journeys, journeys to being pregnant yeah. and me finding out JC's pregnant. Before I did. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're just gonna kind of story tell a little bit. Yeah. Um, in the future, hopefully we can do like a and a kind of about what it's been like being pregnant together and all of that. But for today, we're sticking to the stories. Just a little intro. Yeah. I guess I will give a little intro about JC and me. Uh, we became friends years and years ago. I swam with her little sister actually whenever yeah. I was in middle school, high school, and JC was the hot older sister cool girl. <laughs> Um, the guy I dated in high school thought she was really hot. And so I obviously took it upon myself at 15 that I one day had to have her as my best friend. Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, basically we did like some photo shoots together yeah. and then gradually became really good friends. Yeah, and um, she was the maid of honor at my wedding. Yes. And this year, we don't live in the same place though, we're long distance friends. Yeah, we um, live three hours, three hours apart. Three hours apart. Yeah. Um, she lives about an hour from our hometown, and I live like two hours or so from our hometown. Yeah. Um, so still close enough to drive, which is great. But this year, as all of the craziness was happening, both of us were like, you know what would be a really good add to this chaos? <laughs> Baby. Getting pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I told JC in the summer, I'm like, I think, I think we're ready. I think we're going to start trying. And so me telling you I was pregnant isn't like that grand of a story. There's actually a video of it on my YouTube a couple of videos back in the, um, like my friends react to me telling them I'm pregnant. And yeah. I think you were shocked more than anything. I was, I knew you guys had started to try, but Joe and I have always been very realistic in saying like, if we get the privilege to carry our own children and be mothers right. using language like that and knowing that everyone's journey to becoming pregnant is very different and has a very different timeline so we were always both very realistic with that and didn't set high expectations to get pregnant like oh, right away or anything, anything like, like that. that so i knew they had started trying and then when you were pregnant when you were and when you told me I was just shocked and just so happy yeah we were pregnant very quickly and so and I kept it from her yeah. for I knew for like 10 days without because I was gonna see her in person yeah and I was determined to wait because I wanted to tell her in real life and it killed me because it's what all of our conversations were revolving around yeah because a lot of our friends are pregnant right now and it's just kind of in that life phase where kids are on the brain yeah and our conversation that whole week and I'm like oh yeah if when maybe like it was I think I even say in that video I'm like how did you keep this from me because we talk every single day yes it was hard I'm yeah I can't it imagine. was hard so I told JC I was pregnant and then I guess I want to hear your story from your perspective just a few weeks after I told her yeah. I was pregnant like two weeks yeah. After. Yeah, so we, my husband and I had just kept throwing out fall 2020 um, for probably the past year or so. And so we had just started trying like around when Joe and Matt did. Um, and I made myself wait to take a test. So I tracked my cycle in an app. I'm like someone, I'm very in tune with my body, I and think. we're the kind of friends that I know her cycle because yes. she tracks her cycle in an app. Yeah. Is that all best friends? That's all best friends, yeah, hopefully. right? Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we're not super weird. People are watching this going <laughs> weird. Um, but yeah, like the week before I was starting, supposed to start my period, I had some cramps and spotting, and I was on my daily phone call with Joe. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm pregnant. I have some cramps and spotting. I was like, I feel like I'm PMSing. Like I'm a little bloated. Like I think I'm starting my period this weekend. Word for word, what you said to me on the phone was, while well, I'm out this month. <laughs> That's what you said to oh, me. That's funny, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, well I remember it. Yeah. Because I don't know what I said to you. Like, I, I don't know that I said much. 
but I, I know when I got off the phone, I was in the you kitchen. Did say, you said, look up implantation bleeding. You're like, I yeah. don't know if that's what it is, but just like look it up. I was yeah. like, okay, I'll look it up. Yeah. And I looked, I got off the phone and I looked at Matt and I go, JC's pregnant. <laughs> and Matt goes, did she just call to tell you that? And I go, well, no. And I didn't say much to her because I didn't, like, if she's not, I don't want to get her hopes up. Yeah. You don't know. Like, there's a million different things whenever it comes to, but I just had this gut feeling. And I was like, JC's pregnant. And Matt's like, okay, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> but I was like, after yeah. that, I was dead set. But you did not say that to me at no, any I, point in the next week. No, I didn't. I didn't bring it up at all. I was just waiting because I was like, yeah. she can tell me in her own time. And I guess I could have taken a test at that point. I didn't really think to do that. I made myself wait until I was, I think, three days late to start my period. And I'm never late. I'm very regular now. Um, but I just, I don't know why I made myself wait. I guess I just wasn't quite ready to take a test yet. I, yeah. Um, there was a lot going on in the world. There was. So on election day of all freaking days. Election day of 2020. <laughs> um, yeah. I went home for my lunch break. Joe had given me the tip to buy some of the cheap like little strip tests um, on Amazon in case I had to take quite a few tests over the course of months. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to take this on my lunch break. Because I looked at my app, I was three days late. Took the test, shut the bathroom door. I was like, I'm going to go start making lunch because I need to not be staring at this. Came back. I was like, I don't think that's a second line. So I just did not play it cool at all i texted joe a picture of the test i was like that's not a that's second a negative. line right the text message read this is negative right yeah so i was like no and i facetimed jc immediately to tell her she's pregnant yes <laughs> so our joke is that joe knew i was pregnant not once but, but two twice. times before i did maybe it was before you believed it more I guess, than you knew it yeah I guess. yeah yeah but that second time um but yeah, Joe informed me it was in fact a second line. She said, look at it in like 10, 15 minutes. It'll be darker. It was. Um, I and said, then go I, get a digital test. I got a digital you. test. I went back to work in the afternoon. I went and took pictures with my tripod. And then I went home and took the digital test. And it said pregnant. Then I fully believed it. Yeah. It was quite the FaceTime phone call though. Yeah. <laughs> we were both like. I was just like. Like kind of teary, but smiling. It was weird. Finding out you're pregnant is so shocking because you think you're going to be so excited. Not that I wasn't excited. Yeah. But I think I also like reverted back to like my younger self and was like, oh no. I think for so many years of your life, you just actively try to not get pregnant. So yeah. it's really weird to flip a switch all of a sudden. Yeah. I was like, what are we going to do? And then I'm like, wait a second, we planned this. I'm yeah. like, what are we going to do? I was definitely like, whoa, didn't expect this to happen so quick. I was like, yeah. am I ready for this? This is crazy. And then as the weeks went on, yeah, I was all in and I know you are too. Yeah. It's been fun. We've gotten to like kind of do it together. My first trimester looked a lot different than your first trimester. We were both really tired. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, Joe's a lot sicker than I was. She had extreme I was morning really sickness. sick. Yeah. Um, Which thankfully you didn't have because I was. I'm, I'm about five I'm weeks. Scared. I'm about five weeks ahead of JC. Yeah. And that had to have been terrifying because I am five weeks ahead and I'm like I'm dying. I knew she was throwing up a ton. We usually talk at least once a day. I wouldn't hear from Joe for an entire day. It's like, Joe's really, really sick. <laughs> Cause Joe's <laughs> usually the one who calls me. So I just kept thinking, I'm like, oh my God, it's coming for me. It's coming. Uh, but then we realized like through doctor's visits, Joe had an extreme I was pretty situation. extreme. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think mine was more normal. Like I felt really nauseous and crappy and tired, but I wasn't throwing she up. She didn't throw thankfully. up. So yeah, I'm jealous. Thank you. Yeah, that is our little roundup story of how we told each other and yeah. finding out. It's been fun. It's been so fun to be pregnant together. We had said for years it would be really fun to overlap one of our pregnancies at some point someday. Like not a planned thing. It yeah. would just be fun. We never expected to be five weeks apart with our first baby. No. Well, it's just it's not. I don't know. The thing I've learned about this through getting pregnant and things, it's such a privilege. Like it's yeah. just not something, 
it doesn't come easy for everybody at all no. and it's not necessarily something that you can do the right things like it's just part of life and it's very much a privilege and so yeah. for both of us to have that privilege and both of, both of us to have it at the same time yeah has been really cool yeah i'm not very grateful something i take for granted at all no and it's been yeah really such a blessing to like weird things are happening to your body and the craziest of symptoms you would never think were tied to pregnancy and it's just so helpful to talk every day and be like did this happen to you like yes. it's happening to me right on cue things yes. like that um, and just like older sisters have been great for that. I'm too. relying on your older sister. Yes. I'm the older sister and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> I have older sisters, so they've been kind of a godsend too because they 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 know things. They're experienced. There's six kids between the two of them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're both due this summer. It's gonna be a really fun season. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, well that is today's video. If you don't already, subscribe down below and you can like this video and you can turn on post notifications if you want. And next week I'm, make, I'm making Matt try baby food. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I've been alluding to it for a few weeks. But, That'll um, be good. He'll have some hot doing... takes for sure. Oh, it's going to be. He's very honest. Oh, he's very honest and yeah. I don't think he's going to like it very much. No, I don't I'm think gonna I would either. Like, I'm going to get like the meat flavored one. Oh, that's disgusting. Subscribe down below and we'll see you next week. Love you guys. Bye.